Hey Rich, do you think you could do a workout that's slower paced to help with my joints? Uh, okay, but that would mean more of a conditioning workout which could feel harder. Yeah, that's fine. My muscles can take it. Right. Hi everyone and welcome to Exercise for Health. I'm Richard and today I have an eighth iteration of a home exercise workout for you to follow while we continue the lockdown in the UK. If you're new to this channel, we offer tips, advice and exercises each week to help you manage your health condition with physical activity. So go ahead and tap the subscribe button below and the bell icon if you want to be notified of when we upload a new video. I've decided to do a slightly different type of workout today that is slower paced, lower impact, but will still be a challenge as we will be engaging the muscles more effectively. Even though the exercises we perform are not aerobic or cardiovascular in their nature, each one will be working the upper and lower body at the same time, creating an increased demand for the oxygen. Although this workout will generally be suitable for most mild to moderate risk health conditions, it will be a tough one. And if you haven't done one of my exercise workouts on this channel before, it's probably worth checking out some of the earlier versions that you may find a little more manageable by clicking on the pop-up banner above my head, somewhere around here. If you're up for a challenge though, and you're still with me, we will be doing 10 exercises with 10 repetitions in each one. You will have the opportunity for some of the exercises to use some hand weights. So if you have a set of dumbbells or two tins of food or two bottles of water, get those ready to be able to access during the workout. However, I will emphasize that they are optional. And as we'll be completing two circuits of the 10 exercises, you may want to leave them out of the first circuit just to gauge how well you can manage the exercises before adding an additional level of intensity. Even though I will be performing 10 repetitions of each exercise at a slow controlled pace, don't feel as though you have to keep up with me. If you only manage five or six repetitions of each exercise to start with, that's okay. And when you come back to do this one again, if you enjoy it, you can try and add on a repetition. So over time, you'll be able to complete 10 reps for every one. That's 100 reps in the circuit, and we are doing it twice. Finally, because this workout is more demanded on the muscles, it's crucial that your breathing reflects the movement. Try and do one full breathing cycle for every repetition. And remember, if it gets too much, you can always pause the exercise and then pick it back up again when you can. It can be a great barometer to check your progress if you start doing this workout regularly. Right, with that, get yourself ready in your space, have a drink handy for a short break between the circuits, and let's get started. Right then, let's get started. We're gonna start with a warm up, and I want you to just gently march on the spot. So in your space, nice and gently, just to get the body moving, and begin to get the heart rate to come up a little bit. So it's still important that we do a warm up, even though we're doing more of a conditioning type workout. It's still important that we get the heart rate up a little bit just to send the oxygen to the working muscles. So it just prepares your body for the exercise routine that we're gonna go through today. Right then, from there, I want you to do some heel digs out to the front. So you're gonna alternate left and right. Good, and then we're gonna change that next to a toe tap, but we're gonna do that out to the side. Good, now we're gonna change that to a toe tap, but this time to the back. Good, and then back into a walk again. Okay, while you keep the feet walking, we're gonna get the upper body moving a little bit. So I want you to do some shoulder shrugs. So lift the shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze the shoulder blades back together, and then let the shoulders drop back down. So we get nice big rotation, as we lift the shoulders up, squeeze them back, and then drop them back down again. Good, now if your mobility allows it in the shoulder, I want you to lift the elbows up high now, squeeze the elbows back, and then drop the arms back down. So we're just generating a little bit more movement into the shoulder joint, while we keep the feet just gently marching on the spot. Good, one more time, and back into a walk again. Okay, right, we're gonna just get the spine to move a little bit now. So bring your feet down to a standstill, take the feet out a little bit wider, 
Place the hands on the side of the legs and I want you to do some side bends from there. So you're just gonna reach down the side of the leg as far as you comfortably can as you go each way. Just do a few of these. Good, and then come back up to the middle, bring the feet back in and back into a walk again. Right, we're gonna work through the hip joint next. So I want you to bring your hands out in front of you, that's just gonna be as a guide. And then I want you to lift the knee up to tap the hand on the same side. So depending on how good your mobility is, depends on how high your hands are, because that'll dictate how high your knees come up. Good, we're gonna change that slightly, we're gonna introduce a twist. So this time I want you to bring the knee across the body and tap the hand on the opposite side. Good, and then bring it back to a walk again. So you should be starting to breathe a little bit faster now compared to before we started. So let's bring the feet down to a standstill. Again, take them out just a little bit wider. This time hands in front of the chest and we're gonna twist the shoulders to twist the spine. So turn and face one way, come back through the middle and then twist the turn and face the other way. Good, and then come back to the center, bring the feet back in and back into a walk. All right, we're almost done through the warm up, so we're just gonna do one more, just to get the arms and legs moving together. I want you to do a heel dig like we did at the start, but we're gonna do a bicep curl action on the arms. So keep the elbows in to the, tightly to the waist as you bring the fists up to your shoulders at the same time as you do the heel dig with the foot. Good, next one, we're gonna do the toe tap out to the side, and this time we're gonna do a straight arm raise up to the side. So just up to shoulder height as you do the toe tap. Good, and then the last one we're gonna do, we do the toe tap to the back, keep the elbows up nice and high. As we do this, we're gonna do a tricep kickback movement to the back. So we're straightening the elbows behind you at the same time as you do the toe tap to the back behind. Good, and then back into a walk again. So, you should be feeling warmer now, ready for the circuit. So remember we've got 10 exercises, 10 repetitions on each one. And what I'll do is the first circuit might be a little bit slower, because I'm gonna talk you through each of the exercises beforehand. But when we come to the second circuit, you'll have an understanding of the exercise, so it might be just a little bit quicker, a little bit more fluid. But we will take a break between the two circuits. Right then, so the first exercise we're gonna do then, if you bring your feet down to a standstill, have your feet together, so they're touching, and you're basically gonna bend the knees slightly, so we're going to sort of a half squat position, so you can get your hands on the outside of the knees. That's gonna be your start position. From there, we're gonna stand up, and we're gonna clap overhead as we raise the leg out to the side, bring it back in and back down to the start position, and then we do it on the opposite side. Now remember, it's really important with these exercises we do today that we do them really, really slowly, so we're in control. Obviously this one's good for your balance as well because we're going up onto one leg, so it's also going to work into your core. So we're getting the clap of the hands overhead at the same time as you get the leg raise out to the side, and then we go back to the half squat position. 10 repetitions, so get yourself ready, and off we go. Overhead, one, and down. Two, slow and steady. Three, keep breathing with the movement. Four. Five, remember we're not squatting down too low, but keep your head and your chest up. Six. Seven. Eight. Good, last two. Nine, one more and 10. Good, okay, that's the first one done. The next one is where you can use your hand weights, but remember these are optional. So if you want to on the first circuit not use these, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna do a split squat with a bicep curl. So for this one, we've got a feet at shoulder width wide, but one foot is gonna go right back behind you. So we've got this split stance position and the back foot's up on the ball of the foot. The split squat movement is just to bend the back knee down towards the floor 
and then pop back up. But while we've got the weight, we're gonna do a bicep curl as we go down and then let the arms straighten as we come back up. Start off with your left foot forwards for this one because we're gonna do a split squat a bit later with the right foot forwards. So, one foot forwards, one foot back, left foot in front, right foot back behind you on the ball of the foot. Elbows in, arms straight, palms facing forwards with the weights in your hands if you've got them. So we're going down, bending the knee towards the floor, bringing the fist to shoulders, pop back up, arms straighten up, that's one. Again, breathe with the movement, two. Slow and steady. So you feel the muscles working across the legs, the bottom, and into the arms as well. It's four. Five, six, seven, good. Should be feeling that in the legs by now. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good, give the legs a bit of a shake. You can pop the weights down if you've got those. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is a lateral squat with a chest fly. So basically a chest fly movement is this action where your arms are straight, hands together at the front, and then they go out to the side where you feel a bit of a stretch across the chest. We're gonna start with the feet quite wide on this one, as wide as you comfortably can. A lateral squat is just allowing one knee to bend as the other leg straightens out. Then we'll come back up and then we'll do it the same on the opposite side while we're doing the movement with the arms at the same time. So from here, I'm gonna start with my feet out wide and then arms out to the side. And as I bend one knee, I'm gonna bring the hands in front and then come back to the start position, then we do the opposite side. 10 reps, five each way. So get yourself ready, and off we go. So bend in one knee, hands together at the front, come back, arms out to the side, opposite way. Bend the knee, keep the other leg straight. That's two. Three. Four, good. Five, make sure you're sitting that bottom back as you bend that knee on that side. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. And 10, good. Bring the feet back in. So next one, again, is optional if you want to use the weights. So we're gonna do a front arm raise with the arms, which is basically arms straight and raising them out to the front to shoulder height. At the same time, with the leg, we're gonna do a back raise, keeping the leg straight, so we're just working through the bottom on that one side. We're gonna alternate legs for this one, so we do five each side as we do the front raise with the arms. So, feet together. If you've got the weights, or even if you haven't, just start with your hands in front, and then ready. So we're gonna lift the weights out to the front and then lift the leg up behind you, keeping it straight. Back to your start position, opposite leg. Two. Three. So make sure you keep that leg straight. We're not leaning forwards on this one. Four. So try and keep the body upright. Five. And just bring the weights up to shoulder height to the front. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Nine. One more and 10, good, well done. If you've got the weights, pop them down out the way for a second. Okay, the next one we're gonna do then is a knee raise with a rotation of the spine. So for this one, we're gonna hands, have the hands out in front of you, just in front of the chest. Feet about shoulder width wide. Now as I lift one knee up to the front, what I'm gonna do is rotate my body to the same side. So if I lift my left knee, I'm gonna turn my body to the left, and then obviously vice versa when we come to do the opposite side. Five each way, 10 in total. So get yourself ready. Off you go, so lift the knee up to the front and rotate. That's one, again, slow and steady. We're coming up onto that one leg, so it's gonna work into the balance at the same time. Three, four, five. Make sure your head goes round with your shoulders as you twist. Six, seven, good. Eight, last two, nine, keep control. And 10, good, well done. Next one, back to the weights again if you want them. So we're gonna do a sumo deadlift with an upright row. So for a sumo deadlift, we take the feet out quite wide with this one. If you've got the weights, or again, if you haven't, just have the hands down in front of you with the arms straight. 
and the movement from here is I do the deadlift first, so the knees track the alignment of the toes as I bend, going down this way, and then once I've then come back up and stood up with the legs straight, I'm going to continue the lift of the weights to do the upright row, so they come up to the chest, elbows high out to the side, and then return back to my start position, I'm ready to go again. So set your feet up in the right position, arms straight, so from there we're going to go down, make sure the knees are going outwards as you go down for that deadlift movement, come back up, and then lift the weights just up to the chest, elbows high, and drop back down. So that's one. So bending down, keep the head and the chest up as you deadlift, and then lift up, two. Slow and controlled again, three. Now, because we've got our feet up that little bit wider and the knees are going out wider, you should feel this a little bit more into the inner thighs. Four. Five, good. Six, seven, last three. Slow and steady, keep that posture. Eight, two more. Nine, one more. And 10, good. Right, pop the weights out the way. I don't know about you, but I'm really beginning to sweat, which is good. Okay, so the next one we got then is a kick to the front with a punch to the front. So for this one, our hands are gonna be doing this movement as we punch out to the front and then bring the fist back to the side of the chest. So that's gonna be the arm movement. And at the same time, we're just gonna kick slowly out in front, alternating legs. So we're gonna lift the knee up and then straighten the leg out, bring it back in and pop it back down. Now we're gonna do opposites. So if you punch with the right, you'll kick with the left and then vice versa. Again, five each side, 10 in total. Slow on this one, so we're not trying to do it at a high tempo. Are you ready? Let's go. One, slow and controlled. Two, keep that balance. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, don't worry about the height of the kick, and 10, good. Okay, next one. Back with the weights if you want them. So for this one, we're gonna do a single leg Romanian deadlift, which is basically where we don't bend the knees on this one, we keep the legs straight. As we do that, we're gonna lift one leg up behind us because we'll be on one leg. And then with the weights, if you've got them, we're gonna do a tricep kickback. So basically, I'll show you from the side. Start with your feet together, elbows back behind you, nice and high with the elbows bent. And then from there, I'm gonna keep the support legs slightly bent at the knee, but my other leg's gonna go straight back behind me as I lean forwards. When I'm in this position, I'm gonna straighten the arms, bend them, and then come back to the start position, and then we do the opposite leg. So, feet together to start off with, elbows in and back, ready, off we go. So lean the body forwards, you lift the leg up behind, balance, straighten the arms, let them bend, come back up to your start position, that's one. So a lot of control on this one for balance. Extend, back, and back down, that's two. So lift that leg up behind you, keep that back leg straight. Make sure you're keeping good balance on that support leg, that's three. Oh, nearly lost it. Four. Slowly forwards. Five. Now you dictate how high your leg goes, and it depends a lot of it on your mobility. Six. Last four. Slow. Extend. Bend. And down. That's seven. Three more. Eight. Last two. Nine, one more, and 10, good. Okay, pop the weights down if you've had them. So the next one we're gonna do is a press up mountain climber. So for this one, I would suggest you use something like the wall. If you're happy to go lower, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the end of, end of my sofa as my, where I can put my hands. But basically we're gonna do the press up in that inverted position. After we've done the press up, we're gonna raise one knee up as high as we can between the arms and then do the other one. Remember, it's slow and controlled. So if you're doing it against the wall, it'll look something like this. Do the press up, one knee comes up between the arms, then the other one slowly, and then we start again, okay? So find your position, whether it's against the wall, whether it's a kitchen worktop, 
table, whatever you've got that's quite sturdy. I'm gonna put my hands on the end of the sofa so I can still see you. So, feet together, make sure the body's in a straight line, and then we're going down slowly. So taking the chest towards the wall or your support, push back away, and then once you've got your arms straight, knee lift, knee lift, that's one. So press up, push, knee lift, knee lift. Okay, so making sure when we do the press up, we're keeping those elbows in. Don't let the elbows go out too high out to the sides. So as you lower down, your elbows should be quite close to your ribs at this point. Push back, knee lift, knee lift. That's four. Going in, push away. Really get the knee to come up as high as you can. Again, that will be dependent on your mobility of your hip. But at the same time, where we're doing it slow and controlled, we can really start to work into those abdominal muscles in the lower part of the stomach. This is seven. Good, last three. So slow press up, push away. Knee lift, knee lift. Really focus on getting those abdominals to lift the knee up as high as you can. Lift, lift, good. One more, slow press up, push away. Knee lift, knee lift, well done, good. Right then, grab your hand weights if you want to for the last exercise. So the split spot, the split spot, the split squat that we did earlier in the session, we're now gonna do the same exercise, but we're gonna switch the feet. So whereas before we had the left foot forwards, this time we're gonna have our right foot forwards. So remember, feet are shoulder width wide, a long distance apart, back foot up on the ball of the foot. This time we're gonna do a different exercise with the arms. We're gonna do a side raise. So arms stay straight and you just raise out to the side to shoulder height. And then as you pop back up, the arms will come back down to the start position. So get yourself ready. Make sure you've got your right foot forwards, back foot on the ball of the foot, weights to the side or the hands to the side. And then from there, going down as you raise the arms up to the side and then push that back leg up straight, one. So be careful of that front knee, two. Make sure this front knee's going straight forwards and it's not coming in, three. Slowly down, four. You choose how low you go. Five. So even if you just bend the back knee a little bit on the way down, that's absolutely fine. Six. Seven. Eight, should be feeling that legs in the bottom, as well as the shoulders. Nine, one more. And 10, good work. Right then, that completes your first circuit. So I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds rest. If you feel that you need longer than 30 seconds, then obviously then pause the video for a bit just to give yourself a bit of recovery. But now's the time to grab yourself a drink. And then what we're gonna do is go into this, do that whole circuit again. It's all 10 exercises. We'll do a second time round, but I won't explain it quite so much the second time. So it'll be a little bit more fluid and I'll get even more puffed out than what I am at the moment. So make sure you take on some fluid, get your breathing to come back to normal as best as you can. If you're as unfit as me, so when we get back started, we're gonna start back in with the feet together, doing the half squat, leg raise out to the side as we clap overhead. So that'd be the first one. Okay, get yourself ready. So feet together, slight bend in the knees, half squat, start off with the hands to the side. Ready, off we go. So lift out to the side, clap overhead. One, slow and controlled. Two, three, Four, good, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, one more, and 10, good. So weights are optional, as always, as we did with the first circuit. So judge the first circuit based on whether you feel that you wanna use the weights for the second one. So let's go into that split squat, left foot forwards, right foot back, back foot on the ball of the foot. Arms to the side, ready. So as you go down, we're gonna lift the weights up to the shoulders. Off we go. Bending that back knee down, fist to shoulders, pop back up, legs straight, arms straight. Two. Keep breathing with the movement. Three. Four. Five, good, watch that front knee doesn't come in across the body. Six, so keep that knee out to the side. 
Seven, so it's track and alignment with the toes. Eight. Last two. Nine. One more. And 10, good. Okay, pop the weights down. Okay, next one. So we're doing that lateral squat with the chest fly. So feet a little as wide as you comfortably can. And then starting with the arms out to the side. So from there, we're gonna start off bending one knee, keeping the other leg straight as we bring the arms around to the front. Ready? Off we go. So bending one knee, hands to the front, chest fly. One, two. So make sure you drop that bottom back as you bend that knee on that side. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good, excellent. Right, grab your hand weights again if you want them. So we've got the leg raise up to the back. Remember to keep the hip forward so we're not leaning forwards on this one as we do the arm raise up to the front. Ready? So feet together, off we go. So leg raise to the back, arms up to the front. One, opposite leg, two. So you should really feel that bottom squeeze when you're taking the leg back. Four, five, keep that body upright, six, Squeeze into those glute muscles. Seven, that's the ones in your bottom. Eight. Nine. Last one. And 10, good work. Right, pop the weights down if you've had them. Okay, next one. So we're doing the knee raise with the rotation of the spine. So hands in front, feet about shoulder width wide. Remember you twist towards the direction whichever knee you lift. So if I do left knee lift, turn to the left. Off we go. Rotate as you slowly control that knee up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, good. Seven, remember it's all about that control. Eight, so slow and steady. Nine, and 10, good. Back to the hand weights again if you want them. So we've got the sumo deadlift with the upright row. So feet quite wide on this one. Turn the toes out, weights in front of you. Remember as you bend the knees, make sure they're tracking the alignment of the toes. So going down to the start deadlift, head and chest up, stand up, lift the weights up to the chest, and then back down. One, two, and down. Slow and controlled. Three, you only need to bring these weights up as high as the chest but make sure the elbows are leading. Four. Five, make sure you sit in that bottom back as you deadlift going down. Six. Seven, good. Last three. Eight. Down. Nine, feel those muscles in the inner thighs working. And 10, well done, good. Okay, pop the weights to one side if you've had them. Right then, so now we've got the punch and the kick to the front. So remember, we punch on one side and kick on the opposite side at the same time. Again, slow and controlled. So try and control the movement, don't do it quickly. Ready? Off we go. So punch and kick to the front. One, two. Again, really good for balance and control. Three, gonna feel these muscles work on the front of the legs. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, right, back to the weights again if you want them. So we've got the single leg Romanian deadlift, which is this one, making sure the leg stays straight, but we're gonna add in that tricep kickback. So elbows in nice and high, start off with the feet together, off we go. So leaning forwards, leg up behind, straighten the arms, bend them, Come back to the start position, opposite side. Straighten, bend, and return, it's two. So remember to lean the body forwards, only as far as your leg can go up behind you. Three, keep the elbows up nice and high behind. Four. Five, 
quite a challenging one this one to keep your balance. Six. You should feel that on the back of the leg of the support leg. Seven as you go forwards. Remember, if you need a break at any point, that's fine. Eight. Last two. Slow and steady. Nine. One more. And ten. Good, brilliant. Okay, pop the weights to one side if you've been using them. Okay, so now we're into our press up mountain climber. So use your wall space or wall your table, whatever it is you've been using inside of the chair to put your hands on. So hands about shoulder width, widen the shoulder width. Feet together on the floor. And then from there, we're gonna start off with the press up first and then lift the knees up between the arms. So press up, keeping the elbows in close to the ribs. Push away, slow knee lift, opposite knee lift. Return, start again. Press up, knee lift. Lift up as high as you can, knee lift. Start again, press up, straighten the arms. Knee lift, knee lift, three. Press up, return, knee lift, knee lift, good, that's four, lift, lift, feel those abdominal muscles in the bottom of the stomach have to work, this is six, four more, press up, push away, knee lift, knee lift, three more, lift, lift, last two, are you sweating like me? One more, slow and controlled, lift, lift, brilliant. Right, we're on the last exercise. So grab your weights again if you want them. So we're gonna do that split squat again. Remember, it's right foot forwards this time. So the left foot's behind you on the ball of the foot. We're doing the side raise with it. So make sure we're just careful of this knee doesn't come in, keep it in line with the front foot. Ready, so going down, bending the back knee, raise the arms out to the side and pop back up, one, two, three, good, four, all those legs, muscles working, five, and the shoulders, six, almost there, seven, eight, last two, then we finish the second circuit, one more, Brilliant, well done everybody, good work. Pop your weights down if you've been using them. Grab yourself a drink at this point and we'll go into a cool down. So I'm just gonna start walking on the spot while you grab yourself a drink and get my breath back. And then what we'll do is we'll go into, do a few exercises for a cool down, nice and gently to allow the heart rate to recover. And then we'll finish off with some stretches at the end. Well done. Okay, so from there then as part of the cool down, all I want you to do is do a side step touch. So we're just gonna do one foot to the other foot and then move it back across. So we're just moving from side to side. Just start to feel that breathing start to come back to normal again. Good. So try and keep it nice and relaxed. Relax the upper body. We'll start to slow the pace down a bit. It's always the way when you come to the cool down where you've done a workout and you feel you want to try and keep a good pace up, but you don't need to. So start to slow it down. Good, let's go back into a slow walk again. Nice and gently. Good, and then from there, we're just gonna do a box step movement. So that's where we take one step forwards, one step back. So imagine you've got your feet inside a square, and all you're doing is you're working on the four corners of the square. So front and back, left, right, left, right. So again, nice and gentle pace. Start to slow the movement down. How are you feeling now? Hopefully you're starting to recover. Now don't forget, after that workout today, that's really worked the muscles hard. So you might feel it tomorrow, you might get some muscle soreness and that's perfectly normal. So 
So best way just to relieve a bit of muscle soreness is just do some light stretching. And we're gonna go through some stretches in a second, but just do it nice and easy. Right, let's go back into a walk again. Okay, gradually bring the feet down to a standstill. So I want your feet about shoulder width wide, place your hands on the side of the hips, and then from there, I just want you to keep the body moving slightly by moving your hips laterally as you push them from left to right. So your feet are obviously staying still because they're on the floor, but try and keep your head relatively still as well. It will move a little bit, but just try and get the hips to move left to right. Good. Now we're gonna make circles with the hips now. So we're gonna start pushing them to one side, round to the front, round to the opposite side, and then back behind you, back round to the first side again. So just going round in a circular fashion. We'll do it a couple of times one way. And let's now change the direction. So we're just going the opposite way round. Again, try and keep the head relatively still as you rotate the hips round. Good, okay, bring the hips back to the center. So keeping the feet where they are, this time we're gonna do a bit of a rotation. So we're gonna twist the body, start off with the hands in front of the chest. As I twist round to my right, my left foot's gonna come on the ball of the foot and I'm taking the right elbow round as far as I can. Then I return to the start and then I go the opposite way. So I'm taking my left elbow round to the left as far as I can. So nice, slow and steady. We're just gonna get that rotation in the body, allowing the back foot to come up onto the ball of the foot as you twist from left to right. Good, and then bring it back to the middle. Okay, let's finish off with a few stretches now. Hopefully your breathing starts to have recovered a little bit. So, keeping the feet to shoulder width wide, we'll start off with a back stretch for the upper back. Place one hand on top of the other. We're gonna roll the shoulders forward, so we're trying to get the shoulder blades to pull round, and then straighten your arms away from you. As you straighten the arms, pushing the hands away, you should create a mild stretch around the sides and the top of the back. So while we're doing these relaxed passive stretches, I just want you to focus on your breathing. So nice, gentle, deep breathing. Try and get the oxygen back into the body because you've used a lot of it today. Good, and release. Let's do the chest and shoulder stretch. So back of the hands behind you into the lower part of your back. And then from there, you're gonna squeeze the elbows back like you're trying to pull them back together, pulling the shoulder blades back together so you can feel the stretch across the front. Again, hold that position, slow, gentle breathing. Good, and release. So the next one we're gonna do is one for the back of the arm. So I want you to bend the elbow, bringing the hand up to the shoulder, and then lift the elbow up and back, like you're trying to get your hand to creep down your spine. And you can use your other hand to just gently push the elbow further back if you need to assist it, but you should create a stretch here on the back of the arm. So again, once you've got the stretch, hold it still in that position. Slow, gentle breathing. Good, and release. Let's do the same on the other side. So hand to shoulder, lift the elbow up and back, hands like creeping down your spine until you can feel a stretch here on the back of the arm. Good. Right then, we'll just do a couple of stretches for the legs. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch and a calf stretch. So I just want you to put one foot a short distance in front of the other. Make sure this front knee stays straight, and then you can place your hands on the back leg. Think about pushing the bottom up in the air behind you as you start to take your, your chest down towards the floor. And then from there, that should engage a stretch here on the back of the leg in these hamstring muscle group. If you want to then, you can lift the toes of that front foot back towards you, so come up onto the heel of that foot and you'll feel the stretch into the calf as well as the hamstrings at the same time. Again, once you've found your stretch, hold it still. Try and keep this lower back flat so it's not rounding off. So as I was to say, push your bottom up in the air behind you to keep that lower back flat. Good. Okay, switch the feet over. So again, front knee straight, hands on the back leg that's bent. 
push your bottom up in the air behind you as you start to take your chest down. When you can feel the stretch on the hamstring, see if you can come up onto the heel of that front foot, pulling those toes back towards you. Feel that stretch all the way down the back of that straight leg. Good, okay, last stretch we're gonna do then is one for the front thigh. This is where we're gonna take hold of one foot. So we're gonna go up onto one leg, so if you need to hold onto something for balance, then find something you can hold onto. So I want you to see if you can get the heel of the foot up as close as you can to your bottom, so the knee's bending as much as possible. And then we wanna try and bring this bent knee in close to the support leg, so it's practically touching. Pull that bent knee backwards as well, and then think about pushing your hips forward, so stand up straight so you can feel a stretch on the front of that thigh. Good, and then switch over, same on the other side. Get my balance. So heel of the foot up towards your bottom, bring that bent knee in close to the other one, pull it backwards, hips forwards, stand up straight, get the stretch on the front of that thigh. Good, well done. Good work, everybody. Give yourselves a clap because you worked really hard today. Well done. I hope you enjoyed your workout today. If so, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below and share this video with friends to help this channel grow so more people can benefit from it. And remember to stay active, keep moving, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to subscribe to this channel or click here to watch a recent video. See you soon.